Hello and welcome to Thought for May the 22nd. Our readings are Joshua chapter 8, Isaiah chapter 12, and 1 Timothy chapters 1, 2 and 3. And our thought is, all that is written. Over the last few days, we have been reading about the conquests of the Israelites after they crossed Jordan. The account of the conquest of Jericho is well known, and the way the walls fell down. Then there was a setback in achieving what had appeared to be an easy task in conquering the nearby smaller town of Ai. A surprising reason came to light. There had been disobedience with the stealing of the spoils in the conquest of Jericho. The Israelites learned a hard lesson, and a second attempt to conquer Ai succeeded. It is most illuminating to note what Joshua then did. He built an altar to Yahweh, the God of Israel, on Mount Ebal, we're told in chapter 8, verse 30. And they made offerings to Yahweh and sacrificed peace offerings, we're told in verse 31. And Joshua wrote on the stones a copy of the law of Moses, verse 32, which would have been the Ten Commandments. But not content with that, afterwards he read all the words of the law, the blessing and the curse, according to all that is written in the book of the law. There was not a word of all that Moses commanded that Joshua did not read before all the assembly of Israel, and the women and the little ones and the sojourners who lived among them. We read in verses 34 and 35. It is obvious to us why he read all that is written. It is so that the failure they had recently experienced would not be repeated. Also, that they would be inspired with a vision in their minds of the wonder of the God they served and the long-term future of their nation. This is the reason why we read God's Word every day. It is more essential than ever for God's Word to be in our minds to inspire us to face each day with a vision of things unseen. Look at the words we read in Isaiah today. God is my salvation. I will trust, and I will not be afraid. With joy you will draw water from the wells of salvation, and you will say in that day, Give thanks to Yahweh, call upon his name, make known his deeds among the peoples, sing praises to Yahweh, for he has done gloriously. Chapter 12, verses 2 to 5. He has done, but will do even more gloriously. Isaiah later writes, No eye has seen a God beside you, who acts for those who wait for him. You meet him and her, who joyfully works righteousness, those who remember you in your ways. Well, thank you once again for joining us for Thought for the Day, where together we can open up the pages of God's Word, knowing that Word to be a lamp to our feet and a light to our path. Thank you.